Hello. We are looking at the Civil War today. This is always a fun lecture for me to give, but also kind of hard because I, uh, many years ago, taught a whole class just in the Civil War. So to try to get the Civil War in this one lecture is always, seems a little not fair, but it is what it is. Uh, anyway, so we are gonna start off with the creation of the Confederate States of America. And we actually kind of did that at the, the tail end of the last lecture with Lincoln's um, election. So we'll, we'll kind of finish that story here. We'll look at the start of the war at uh, Fort Sumter in 1861. And then we're just gonna look at a couple of battles, some real kind of ones that like completely shift things. So we'll look at Antietam. Antietam is the single bloodiest day of the Civil War and Gettysburg is the single bloodiest battle of the Civil War. Most casualties in a single day are at Antietam and Gettysburg has the most casualties of any battle. It's over several days. Um, and my dog wants to come in, but he's going to have to wait a minute. So um, we'll see Antietam is a turning point because it's gonna hinge on two, two things, foreign recognition and uh, the Emancipation Pants, the, la, 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 the Emancipation Proclamation. So those two things are gonna be key. Just a minute, Hamilton. Anyway, and then um, Gettysburg we're gonna see is gonna be key because that's gonna be the second time that the Confederacy tries to push north and the second time that they're gonna lose. Um, and, you know, we see it as a turning point, but of course, right, we still have, this is uh, July of 63 and the war isn't gonna end until April of 65. So we know it's a turning point, but they don't know it just yet. Uh, we'll look at the surrender, Appomattox Courthouse. And then we're gonna spend the rest of the lecture looking at more kind of social elements of the war. So we're gonna talk about photography, which is pretty much a new medium in the Civil War, at least the way which is used is new. It had been developed in the 30s. So it's, you know, about, 30 or so years old, if you will, but it's it's new like to new technology for people to like have in their homes. And then, um, oh, and if we were in person, I could have a stereoscope, a stereo viewer that I um, that students can look at that you can put the picture and kind of move it back and forth. And then we'll talk about uh, the people who served in the war, uh, African-American troops, as well as women who served as soldiers, although they had to serve in disguise. And then um, the last thing there, we're gonna look at what happens on the home front. And um, you can see my dog does not like being left outside because we're always home, we're always here. Anyway, um, uh, we'll do the bread riots in Richmond and we'll see this is the way that women are gonna kind of influence the war. And then the New York draft riots are gonna be really significant for us because they show us how Northerners feel about this war once it becomes a war to end slavery. So that's going to, that those New York draft rights are going to be key to head us into the next lecture that we look at. Um, that's reconstruction. Okay. I'm going to go let my dog in. I hope y'all are doing well. Take care.